Wow. I don't know about you, but I'm shocked by how much went into that short video. Hello fellow animal respecters. In this video, I'm going to be reacting and responding to the viral sensation, Save Ralph. By now, the short video, Save Ralph, has amassed millions of views. I've lost count myself. So I think it's pretty cool with videos like this to ponder why they were so successful. To do that, let's watch how they made this video together. After this, I'll share a few of my ideas for why I think Save Ralph was so successful. Let's get into it. One of my favorite things about stop motion is that you can make things come to life that aren't actually alive. You are moving an object in very small increments, photographing every step of the way. You literally have to decide what every single frame is. But the magic of it is that when it all comes together, you've created life. You've created a character that didn't exist otherwise. It's just very, very time consuming. My name's Ralph. Um, I'm a rabbit, as you can see. Andy Jen is amazing. He and his team built and helped realize Ralph's very specific world. There's been a big team involved, 24 model makers, mechanical body, mechanical head. We looked at tons of references. From real rabbits to famous rabbits of animation. There's an awful lot of searching to see the things that will work really well. You go through a process of reading about him, imagining him, drawing him, sculpting him, and then the technical process to bring him to life. And this is where Ralph started life. This is the sculpt synthetic fur stretches with him. And of course, is Ralph's tongue. The most important thing for me was that he could show emotion, a puppet that can give us a great performance. Taika Waititi came on to play Ralph. I'm blind in my right eye and uh, this ear. Can't hear nothing but ringing now. Yeah, it's annoying, isn't it? He's one of the funniest guys I know and one of the most likable. That's a quality that Ralph needed to have. There's an anxiousness and a nervousness in him because of what his job is. Oh, time to get to work. We've assembled this great cast of talented people. They're all here because they care for the cause and it's important to them. Zac Efron came on to play one of Ralph's work buddies. He really got into it and, and really delivered. I don't want to die, man. I don't want to die. I don't want to die, Ralphie. I don't want to die. <laughs> Ricky Gervais plays the off-screen interviewer. <laughs> he opens his mouth and it makes you smile. We roll it. OK, Ralph. Can you mark it, please? Olivia Munn brought so much energy. Please, Ralphie, please. Ask him if he'll get us out of here. Palm Clementia, she just jumped right in from zero to 100. Help, I'm really scared. Come on, I'm claustrophobic. <laughs> OK, that's great. And we have the wonderful Trisha Helford and amazing Liv Tennant. Can you ask him to get us out of here? Yeah. Yeah, what, what, what will we see? Come on, Ralph, you just I'm ask really me. Scared. Scared. I'm really scared. I don't want to die, man. Help! We just laugh so much, keeping in mind that what's actually happening in that lab is absolutely horrible. Oh, uh, here we go. Hey, hey, hey! Don't touch him! Uh, 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 oh, shit! Every detail of Ralph's performance is a choice. You know, when he looks away with his eyes, when he looks back, when he looks down, when his eyebrows move up. I was so lucky to work with Tobias Foraker, who's the most incredible animator. When I heard about the project and, and what it's about, I was very keen to get involved. I was a child of the 70s, and I remember quite hard-hitting campaigns back there that relied on gruesome photographs and things like that. I remember as a child being quite shocked, and then for years just not thinking about it, and I just assumed that sort of thing didn't happen anymore. Animals are still being tested on for cosmetics around the world. They don't have a choice. They're thrown into this, and it's our responsibility to do something about it. Ralph is helping shine a light on the countless rabbits and other animals suffering in cosmetic laboratories around the world. And it's really resonating with people. The style of it is driven by color and texture. Beautiful vignettes telling a very good story. It's learning how to photograph small stuff to make it stand up to scrutiny large. Ralph is only nine inches high, but if this is projected, he will be 20 feet high. 
So much detail in the sets, Ralph's props, his clothing, every bit of it was thought about. I don't believe this would work in the same way if it was computer generated. There's something that's so special about tangible, real things moving that you can't fake that. Each frame, you know, I might have to move the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, the fingers, the eyebrows, you know. So you've really got to be incredibly focused. When we see it back, we've stopped thinking of him as a stop motion animation puppet. It catches you off guard. You're so engrossed in what you're seeing that you've forgotten you've even made it. It's the emotional roller coaster more than anything that will strike me about this one. I wanted to create something that made you feel. You know, and I thought that if we could let the audience in to empathize with Ralph, by the time we get to this horrible reality of his world, that it'll hit you in the guts and you'll feel something and hopefully that feeling will make you do something about it. The goal of the Save Ralph campaign is to ban cosmetic testing on animals globally. We want to create a cruelty-free beauty world where anyone can walk into any store to buy a beauty product and they'll know that it hasn't been tested on animals. And we're gonna get there. If this film helps end some of the suffering, that would be fantastic. That's the goal. Ow, 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 sh Wow. I don't know about you, but I'm shocked by how much went into that short video. I was originally planning to do the reaction and the response in the same video. However, there's so much detail. To break it down properly, I'm going to be doing the response video, breaking down the detail in a separate video. So please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that when I release it in the coming weeks. And thank you for all you do to help evolve our language to build respect for our fellow animals. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, so this is the reaction. <laughs> oh my gosh, I had way too much coffee today. For free resources, such as a discussion guide and language document, check out veganinteractions.com. Thanks for watching.